Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will look into billboard share graph in Unity. What's a billboard I hear you ask? So basically billboard is a quad or a plane that will always face the camera. Billboards are majorly used in a particle effects or creating an illusion of detailed 3D geometry with a 2D mesh. With the theory out of the way, now let's get started. I'm using Unity version 2022.2 but it will work on any 2020 or later version as well. I have a project set up in URP and here in the scene I have a quad which we view from different angle it looks flat because it's uh, basically a mesh with only four vertices right now we want to create a shade graph so that no matter from which angle we look at it it will always face the camera let me create a shader graph create shader depends on your preference later and lit let's create lit shader graph let's call it billboard shader graph <laughs> how original let's right click create material and call it billboard let's assign it to our quad double click to open the shader graph now we want to access the position of each and every vertex so let's create a position node position node we want position in object space so yep space object we also want an object node to access the position and scale of the object in world space remember object not vertices position of object scale of object not vertices then we multiply our position with the scale so that it will work even we change the scale of our object right why actually let me just quickly show you that in the scene view we have a quad right here and the scale is 111 so the position of top left vertex will be uh, minus 0 0.5 0 0.50 0. top right would be 0 0.5 0 0.50 0. this one would be uh, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.50 0, and this one would be minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 0. now if the scale would be 2 so the position of this vertex would change so it would be minus 0 0.5 into 2 0 0.5 into 2 and 0 into 2 so this will be minus 1 1 0 this will be 110 and so on you get the idea right now back to our graph let me just adjust it now we need a transformation matrix node select inverse view right. now let's plug it into multiply node now this accept the vector 4 but we have the output of vector 3 so let's just create a split node combine it into vector 4 just like that so this will be our x this will be our y this will be our z and this w component would be 0 and let's multiply it so this would give us a new rotated vertex position based on the camera angle oh, once more let me just get back into scene view now let's just assume if I view this quad exactly 
at the 90 degree angle like this you can see it but just assume so the top uh, left uh, vertex position would change from minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 to 0 0 0.5 0 0.5 and so on like this would be here this would be here this would rotate here and this vertex would rotate here right you get the idea right and now I know transformation matrix is kind of difficult to understand but a quick TLDR is it is used to perform operations on vectors such as translation rotation scale shear etc anyway back to our graph so I want to add this uh, with our objects world position like this and let's just tidy things up a bit now why we want to add this because our vertices positions are in object space this this position are in object space and we add them to our objects world position because our vertices positions are in object space and we add them to our objects or quads world position to get a new position in world space so that we will see our rotated mesh on whatever world position it is on not just zero 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 I will get back to this in a minute now all we need to do is hook this output into the vertex context position but it would accept the object space and we have calculated the position in world space so to convert we need to create a transform node feed the output of our position convert from world to object and we need position so keep position and plug that into the position let's tidy our things up a bit and save head back into our scene view and boom we have our quad working as a billboard right now why we need to add this so let let me just feed the rotated value directly from our transform save get back into the scene so see if I move the quad it will always display the vertex from the origin of our world right so we need to add this position of vertex to our objects pivot so that this all vertex will be moved to the world position related to our quads pivot right mm, so so that's why we need to add this save head back and boom see mm, that's all there is to it thank you so much for watching if you find the video helpful consider like share subscribe maybe and i will see you guys in the next one